Oh, what's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. So, I, uh, you know, due to the shoulder surgery, I slowed down. Things weren't producing the way they should. You know, I haven't been putting them out there, and it hasn't been very long. I'm still well under a month on this thing, on the healing process. But I don't care. I told them I'd be good in a month, and I'm going to be there. So, I figure why not start swinging blades? It's just the things we got to do sometimes. So what am I bringing you today? I'm bringing you a budget buoy. Um, and it's budget, budget T, budget T, budget T, because it's still around 50 bucks. It's a, This one I, I think was like 48 bucks, something like that. I have all the stats on it. I might even have the price still there. Uh, 48.95, I was right. I never am right. So this is the white tail you can see it's a little messy looking. This is, uh, I mean, not white tail, white deer. White deer magnum outback American buoy. They gave it enough names to really make it stick. So we're just going to call it the white deer magnum outback. Close enough. So, and they call it the white back White uh, white deer, white back. <laughs> what is wrong with me? The surgery was here. It should have been here. White deer magnum outback American buoy. They call it an American buoy, but it's a remake on a classic Australian, you know, um, movie, which is crazy. So here's here's the deal: is just like pretty much all of these are made. It's a wrap around, right? So you have a handle that probably comes into here. I'm, I'm assuming that it's not very girthy in there. There's not a lot of tang. And then you can see the pin all the way in the end. So it's got a nice tail in there. So I have no idea where the tang sits in this, how far down it goes. I know with the, um, with the Outback from Down Under Knives, they have a full hidden tang. And then just a little tiny rat just to screw on the, um, the pommel. Um, they have a very strong knife. Now, if you want the very strongest um, knife, one of these in this style, um, you're going to have to wait because D-Bad Designs has designed one and it's going to be produced by the Kukri House. Just not yet because I have other things in front of it, but mine will be completely 100% true full tang. True full tang. And without these giant freaking brassings, I'm just going to have like that like that just a guard at the top and bottom but we're not talking about that we are talking about this and is it any good so it's been sitting around it's been waiting and waiting to get reviewed you can see it's got a little tarnish on it. it's turning green here um but it's all right as far as weight and balance i like it i like it 48 bucks to this point to this point, I like it. Let's get into the um, some of the specs. We do have a leather-wrapped handle to go with our brown leather and stamped, um, kind of like a snakeskin type pattern. It's it smells like rubber, but it's. I know that the outside is leather. It must just be the inside stuff that's making it smell bad. But it doesn't have that nice, rich leather smell. It looks good, though. It looks good. You see white deer on it right there. Um, not bad. It works. It does what it's supposed to do, right? Um, overall length, we're talking about 16 and a half inches. Um, did I just see? <laughs> Watch this. Y'all seen that, right? A single-sided beanie little fuller. For me, that doesn't do it. I mean, either make a plain edge like this, looks nice put a fuller in it but maybe a better one or just one or the other i mean i didn't even notice that until just now <laughs> that's stupid all right so 16 and a half inches overall we're talking about an 11 and a quarter inch blade length um it says the blade material is high carbon steel um and it very well could be um, what I might have to do is get some super blue and really test this thing, man, and see if it's carbon or not. But um, who knows? I mean, Cisco blades are carbon and they're budget. So you never know. You never know. It is a blade thickness of five millimeters stamped right here, made in Pakistan. Five millimeters is way too thin for this blade. Should be eight millimeters 
so seven millimeters at least. Um, but it's five millimeters. Uh, let's see, it says full length steel tang tapered through Palmer. So, Palmer. <laughs> Whoa, hello Arnold, shout out to you buddy. Um, so apparently what they're saying is it comes in, dude, like nice and thin, and then it tapers to the end, I'm assuming, and then has a little stick pin at the end, maybe this big. I'm guessing that's what it is. So it should look almost like a like a wedge. That's what's probably going on on the inside. Um, sharpness and functionality, heavy duty performance. Let's find out. Let's find out. Five and three, five point three inches in the uh, in the handle and brass, brass, blah, 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 blah. Enough of this. Enough of this. Enough. Of, I'm even tired of hearing it. Let's um. Let's go outside. Tonight is your night, bro. What's that from? Tonight is your night, bro. Come on, write it down. Write it down in there. All right. So let's um. Let's get this party started right. Let's see how sharp it is. It says very sharp. That's the description. Very sharp. There we go, yeah. Um, it's actually, it's really sharp. The reason I had to do that is because instead of holding it down here where I can easily have um, push, I wanted to see how sharp it was up at the top. It's hard to get momentum, especially me right now. So once I pushed, went right through. So is the blade sharp? It's push cut through nylon uh, nylon rope rope sharp rope. Man, I cannot speak today um, without having to saw. So that there, my friends, is what I call a positive. I call that a positive. Can't even get it out of there. Let's see. Let's see. Holy snap, crackle, and pop. All right. All right. So you can see. The feathering is happening, and while they're all dropping, it doesn't make it. It doesn't mean it's not working. It doesn't mean it's not happening. They're all right there. So let's see something. Let's see something here. Ooh, right through and right in. That was pretty nice. That was actually very nice. You can see how clean that is. All right. Let's uh, let's get some of this away here. Out in the wilderness, you need to make a spear to protect yourself from from uh, predators and critters that you don't want around you. Some people will just take a knife and start going like this. That's dumb. Guys, if you need to make a tip on something, chop first, then do that. This is going to save you a whole lot of time. Just really short little chops until you get to a point. And then once that point starts to happen, now you're gonna have a much easier time profiling yourself a tip. Um, it, it's just gonna save you a whole lot of work. So, can I use this knife to make a spear? abso freaking -lutely. If I need to make tent spikes, pit spikes, arrows, spears, and all that j -j -j jazz, right on. Got the dog over here going nuts. He must have found a critter. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Now, being a big blade, I don't need to do a four foot drop because we already know the balance is going to be. Do a couple hard downward throws. Ah. <laughs> I tried to wind out. Let me tell you, that was painful. Ah. Ah. All right. Now, now, the smarter guy would say, well, why don't you just use the other arm? All right, well, I probably a smarter bet. Ugh. Maybe that's why. Because I'm a lefty. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Make sure there's no tip damage. Hey, get out of there, Roscoe. Man, that dog gets yelled at every day. Hey, get out of there, Roscoe. All right, so everything looks in order. Nothing is loosened here. Um, so far, so mucho bueno. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. It's almost time to start a new log. I think we might have to do that today. Let's first get through this one. We'll do, um, we'll do a hard shot and we'll see what happens with a hard shot here. Nice. 
nice. How's everything looking? No D-lamb, no bending, no twisting, no nothing. I like it. I like it when a blade works. I like it when the blade works. And now there's a knot at the bottom of that. So for it to be working as beautifully, beautifully, beautifully as it is, is a uh, is a happy day for me. All right. All right. All right. So man. Oh man. Oh man. This is like Fonzie punching a jukebox to life. Woo wee. Hey. It's, it's good. It's good at that. It's good at that. But I told you we needed to wind this thing out. We needed to swing from it. And with a knife of this style, you never swing from the end, even though that's where you're getting your momentum for chops. With You know, you don't want to hold a knife way up here for chops unless you have a fear of having some kind of rat tail in there. Um, but because it says it's wedged, I'm going to trust that that is correct. And I'm going to hold it at the rear so I can gain momentum in the chops on the hardwood. And we are going to see if they lied or not. Ooh, this thing's not stable, it's moving. Ah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that hurts like a mother. I'm gonna do a couple hard shots. I'm not looking forward to it. There's a whole lot of pain going on right there. All right, let's check this out. I've got no movement, no twisting. I've got no gaps in the leather, no separating. Nothing is loose. Nothing. I'm going to try it with the right hand and see if I can't swing even harder. It sounds like a generic porn. All right, so let's check out the edge. And I can definitely see a little bit of a little bit of edge hiccup right here. So keep your eyes on that little spot. See that little dent right there? I mean, that's hardwood. And that's swinging the snot out of it. And if that's the only little thing I have right there, and it's not a chip, it's just a little uh, bend in the exact edge, like the sharpened edge. So that's literally just takes a honing poop poop and that's done. Um, so far, so good. Uh, I think that for $48, they may have made a knife that you can actually use. That's the Crocodile Dundee style. Um, are there things about it I don't like? I don't like the thickness, not for something this size. Um, and if, if it is gonna be five millimeters at this size, you really, really have to have the best heat treat possible. You have to. Does this, I don't know how good the heat treat is, but I know I did take this little dinger right here. So, you know, I, I can't really say. One thing about these knives is they do have the ugliest ricassos in the business. Um, but I can see how far in, it's right here and right here. So you're looking at maybe a half inch to just above a half inch of um, maybe like five eighths of actual tang at the start before it tapers. It's a little thin for my liking. Um, as a matter of fact, any non full tang is a little thin for my liking, but is what it is. Let's keep going. All right, so as it happens over here at Casa de Dibad, I get a lot of overgrowth, and uh, this thorny crap is a real pain in the snatch. Um, to get rid of so I figure come down here and just knock some of it out real quick we have a knife that says it can do this kind of stuff because of because of the edge so I figure why not let it play we got all this crap coming in 
Oh, ho, ho. all right, I like that. Got caught up in some of these weeds, some of these vines. See if we can't get it nice and taut here. Beautiful, beautiful. So now we got some of the uh, one inch forest trees are growing in. Let's see if we can't lop a couple of these guys off. I'll take you with me. Take you with me, y'all. All right. Hopefully you guys won't fall backwards. If so, I'm gonna need a new phone in about three, two. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. Got these guys growing over the driveway. And then, you know, my Jeep, not being a normal sized Jeep, hits them every time. So, I just want to clear some of them out. Get rid of that, uh, that garbage. We got this tree right here growing over. Ah, man, reaching over the head is bad juju. Alright, so, so far so good, man. So, here it is for 48 bucks, 48.95, right? And it was free shipping. Um, and it feels really good in the hand. Um, you get an actual knife. Hey, please get up here. Um, you get an actual knife. And uh, it's, it's not every day you can pay 48 bucks for a buoy of this size, of this magnum tude, um, that's actually gonna perform and be strong right so uh are there are there details and designs that i don't appreciate and like about it yeah but i mean you're gonna find out in just about any any knife anywhere any knife company there's gonna be something you just don't like about something right and that's why i prefer to design my own I straighten you guys out here that's why i prefer to design my own because i can uh oh, I think I think I'm still in there with you guys, but that's why you know I, I prefer to, to design my own because um, I can design away the flaws in other knives that I just don't like, and I can make a completely new knife and just make you know take take something something old and make it better, and that's that's what I like to do. Oh, that was there, baby. That was there, baby. I hit it. Look at that chunk I took out of there. All right, it's really hard. I'm still trying to throw left-handed. Oh, <laughs> you can absolutely see the huge, the huge gouge it left right here. That thing was a solid hit. The good thing about misses, and even though they're hitting, is it's a good way to see how that handle is going to hold up. Oh, that was just an absolute miss. I backed up too far backed up too far throwing my left hand because I have to throw like this. I can't throw from the shoulder. So let's try that one more time. <laughs> one of them days, y'all. One of them days. But you know what happens is after a couple, that happens. And uh, first try. All right. <laughs> it's always the first try after the last try, right? So that's it, man. This is the uh, the White Deer Magnum Outback Buoy. And you can find them a couple different places. I know you can find them on eBay, things like that. You type in, you know, White Deer Buoy Knife or whatever, and you just might come across this guy right here. Is it worth $48? Come on, man. Yeah, it's worth 48 bucks. This is a knife that you're going to be able to bring into the field. You're going to bring to the campground. You are going to use around the house. Um, as far as outdoors, obviously, like gardening and things like that. And it's going to come sharp. It's going to come ready to go. It's going to come nice and, and built well, right? Everything's together. And you're going to be able to swing it. You're going to be able to hit things. And it's going to be able to survive. Are you going to need to sharpen it every now and then? Most likely, yeah. Am I going to need to take out the little dingers? Yep, it's going to have to happen. But, but, here's the deal. For 48 bucks, you're getting a blade that can get the job done. Period 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 it will work it will kill thanks dave um so that's it man that's that's my uh my thoughts on this guy right here 
the White Deer Magnum Outback American Classic Custom Figajamig Buoy. Um, because they have a whole lot of names for this, but it's a it's a worker. It's a worker, and it's you know obviously the crocodile dundee style, so you know that it's a good looking blade, right? Just a good looking blade. So that's it. A cuckoo like a whale. Um, visit yourself uh, a little bit of internet. If you see one of these and you're looking for a crocodile dundee style buoy and you don't want to break the bank and spend 300 bucks, you want something that you can bang and not worry about this part right here breaking off. $50, man. $50. You got yourself one hell of a budget crocodile dundee knife. And speaking of one hell of a one hell of a dotty be all day. Until next knife. Woo, almost dropped it.